TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability. You've already encountered the first two types of loop in the form of the sense blocks repeat and forever. In this session, you'll first review these two types of loop before being introduced to loops that are controlled by a Boolean condition. In this session, some of the programming exercises will not require you to construct even parts of programs. Instead, you may be given a program and asked to read and understand it, explain how it works and so on, sometimes experimenting by making small amendments. This approach has two main benefits. One, it will develop your ability to understand programs written by other people, and two, it will stand you in good stead for the sense programs that you'll meet later in TU100. Some of these may be quite complex and you'll not be expected to understand them entirely. Instead, you'll be directed to small parts of them to understand and amend. Along the way, you'll be introduced to some more sense features that will help you to create interesting programs. So let's have a look at the repeat block. Sense implements loops whose contents are executed a fixed number of times with the repeat block. The repeat block executes all the blocks inside its jaws the loop's contents a specific number of times given by the value in its input box. Once these blocks have been executed the specified number of times, Sense exits the loop and moves on to the next block in the stack. So we're going to review how the repeat block works here. Launch Sense if it isn't already running and open project 25 in the session 5 subfolder of the Sense programming guide and immediately save it with underscore 25 underscore SOL. The project has a single sprite called dot. Make sure that this is selected and look at the program script. The program uses a repeat block to draw a row of colored dots on the stage. This involves two new blocks, the stamp block from the pen palette. This block stamps a copy of a sprite's costume onto the stage at the sprite's current position. In this way, multiple copies of an image, in this case a filled circle, can appear as the sprite moves around the stage. The change colour effect block from the looks palette. In this program, the role of this block is to change incrementally the colour of the dot's costume. The colour change in this case is quite subtle. It can be used to effect other kinds of changes to a costume, depending on the option selected from its drop down menu, but you don't need to be aware of these at the moment. Before running the program, identify the repeat block and its contents and determine how many times the loop's contents will be executed and then run the program. Try running it in slow motion or single stepping through to help you understand how it works. What do the blocks inside the repeat blocks jaws do? What does each loop through these blocks achieve? And how would you make the program display 12 dots? So the repeat block and its contents, three blocks inside the jaws, is the section of the script shown here and the loop's contents will be executed ten times, the value in the repeat block's input box. The blocks within the jaws perform the following tasks. The stamp block stamps a copy of Dot's costume, a filled circle on stage, changed by 30, increases the X coordinate of the dot by 30, and so moves the dot to the right and the change colour effect by 2 blocked changes the colour shade of the sprite by 2. On each loop through the effect of these blocks is to place a coloured dot on the stage then move the sprite right and then change its colour shade in preparation for the next loop so that the next dot will be placed to the right and have a different colour shade. And to get 12 dots, you would change the value of the repeat blocks input box to 12. As you saw with your polygon drawing program, loops can be nested one inside the other. And we'll do that in the next exercise.